This video, we explore a rich, paranoid guy's bunker. This guy was super rich. He has a massive, great big house, which is now abandoned. And in the ground, he's got a massive bunker. So this guy was super rich and super paranoid. This is a proper Cold War style Fallout bunker. This sort of thing where he was, but had a lot of money and was thinking, well, if Russia drops the nuke, I've got a bunker I can live in. He spent a lot of money on it. This is crazy. Millions were spent building his bunker. And let's go down and take a look down in his bunker. Sadly, it's not actually deep enough. It's about four meters deep, or ground goes up maybe, and most 10 meters deep. They built bunkers like this originally for nuclear bunkers, but when they realized they had to go much deeper, like 30 meters, to actually uh, uh, survive the atomic bomb. So if an atomic bomb dropped, despite it being about 10 meters deep, it wouldn't actually have been deep enough. We go in, we've got a sump pit with a water pump that pump the water out, and we've got that door. So, this rich guy was so rich, he had so many millions of pounds, if the nukes ever dropped, he had a place where he could live. Well, Ashley Knox is not actually deep enough to survive an atomic bomb. But ignoring that detail, he has his own nuclear bunker, which is crazy. It's all abandoned now. His whole house bunker's abandoned, so we can go and explore it. And we can look at how paranoid he must have been. It's like he had money to waste on his paranoia. He must have been proper into like apocalypse sort of stuff. The fact he put all this money into building it. So we go into the bunker, through here, and we now go into the first room of the bunker where we've got these tanks. We go in here and we've got the controls of his bunker. That was his proper Cold War stuff here. Look at all these controls he's got to control the power and stuff in his bunker. This is absolutely crazy. This bunker is actually not that small. It goes on a fair distance. In fact, someone would be that paranoid and have that much money, they're willing to build themselves a bunker. Wow. <laughs> it's so weird. What does this machine do? Ew. Wow. He got so much supplies. He actually thought the nuclear bombs would drop. Like, I'm lost for words that someone would actually go to this much effort. This is big and it's got this really old cooker. I don't know when this was built. I can't quite date it but a lot of the supplies are old I mean this stuff here predates when sell by dates were put on food we've got this way we've got a bedroom a bedroom here with eight beds so eight beds in this bedroom and there's also a second bedroom the other way also with eight beds we've got this machine here we've got in this room the toilet Ooh, that is disgusting and gross and well, plenty of supplies for the toilet there and there you've got some stuff up there. Got there a weird little washing tub. And there we've got a generator. Look at generator. Water pump grease. It was literally is a fully stocked bunker. And here we've got more, we've got eight beds in here. Just like the other one, so this bunker would have slept 16 people. So him and his family, he believed, would have survived a nuclear attack. This is so fucking weird. I can't believe how paranoid this person was. It's, it's fully stocked. It's a fully stocked private person's individual bunker because he was paranoid there'd be some nuclear fallout. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen on an urbex. I've never had an urbex experience as odd as this. This is so, so odd. In this bunker, there is a lot of supplies and these are proper old stuff. And so all the food here is from a long, long time ago. Three bentos. Look, they don't wrap cans like that nowadays with a big bit of a can missing wrap. But look at this. But they don't date stuff around there. Wait, it's in LBs. Wait, it's in LB. No date anywhere. It's, it's, this predates when they dated food. That is, that is so weird. You've got that. You've got processed peas. Oh, fuck. Look at this stuff. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh shit. Someone's opened up this product. Oh shit. Oh. Oh fuck, that's bad! Oh look at that some of these products! Oh look at his stuff, what the fuck's that? Five pints dried milk! Wait, it's in OZ! What the fuck? 
It's those sell-by. It's three dates when they had to date food for sell-by date, and that cost forty-nine p. That gives from Safeway. So that gives a date. Some Safeways. It's all long-term food. It's all food that you can keep for very, very long periods of time. Oh my, that's bad. Uh, there's your five pints. I made five pints of milk out of a bottle. Some unmarked cans. Look how much we've got unmarked cans. All oh, very long stuff. Got good supply of tampons there. An air filter down there. Oh, gross. Some of this food is like out there. It's a plate of food. That's been there for how many years? Over 20 years maybe? A plate of food just left there. Look how mouldy that food is. Look how long that food's been there. Uh, that's mould on that. Look how that's, that's actually mould. That's the diesel generator. Uh, that's, that's too disgusting, guys. That smell of that food is so disgusting. That is so... Oh my! Have you seen more of it? Oh no. That is absolutely fucking gross. Oh look at that! Oh! Oh! Oh that is horrible. That is horrible. Is there any dates on this? I don't want to touch any of this. But I want to find out what date it's on. I want to find out the dates for this, but oh my, that's, that's, that takes disgusting to a whole new level. I just found some more instant coffee, mates! Oh dear! I just did OZ again! They measured it in OZ, but they didn't put a sell-by date on because they weren't required to in those days. Wow! I am lost for words. You've got a fly killer there. Extra value fly killer. You've got a Three Mentos, steak and kidney pudding. What? That is so disgusting. That is disgusting. That is the absolute limit of disgustingness. Along with low calorie. Interesting, it's low calorie for Matt Longo. <coughs> Had insects on it. It's insects been eating into the stuff. Look, yeah, it's mold on that. Is there any dates on it? My, this is what Cold War food looks like. After years, that's food. Oh, it was food. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Food, I found food. So then we now come out of the bunker and let's take a look at the house. Sadly, the house is all locked up and we were not able to get in it. So now go along to the millionaire's swimming pool. Just take a look at this. This person must have had serious amounts of money to have afforded this. Let's now take a look at the millionaire's cars. Apparently there used to be quite a few cars here, but over the years since the property was abandoned, people have been coming in and stealing some of the cars and there's just two cars left. A Nissan Micra and a weird generic Korean car. And this is his car. Wheels are not doing so well. It's a weird, weird car. It's got a Mercedes badge there, but I don't think it's actually Mercedes, because then you look inside it, it's got oh. that on it. It's got an odd fucking smell on this, and this guy's a San Yong, generic Chinese car. Weird, just left. I don't know, he's rich enough to not have imported the car. Maybe he just brought it for fun, maybe. Or maybe he's so rich he just brought it for fun to see what a Chinese car would be like. This is the book for the car. For driving your vehicle. Thank you for choosing a Sanyong vehicle. How weird is this? That is so weird. Weird Chinese car. And in the various garages around here, there is various cars. We've got a Nissan Micra. Sadly, someone smashed it. I don't know why someone did that. P&J and something. Fuck you. Shame out here to get people out to do shit like that. It would have been Christine if someone hadn't done that. And so I do. Yeah, Nissan Micra. And there is Nissan Micra engine. Rusty. There's my bitty scooter, a tractory thing, and another tractory that's thing. Good, this good. guy had money. He had serious money whoever owned this. So he's got all this other stuff, he's got all this workshop, he's got all his screws and tools. It's like it's just weird. This guy Oh wow, <laughs> a little tiny engine in that. Yeah, it's a cool start. But... Yeah, how long ago would you say that last worked? He had his own He's got all his welding, face shields, motorbike helmet. Well, this guy had everything he could possibly want. Look at that little boilery thing. That is weird. Some of this stuff doesn't look out. Oh, that's a weird thing. 
Doesn't look like it's abandoned that long ago, and some stuff was extremely old. Radio equipment. Radio is very. He had a proper garage. He was probably into his vehicles and toys. He had lots, and he had proper money to spend on actually maintaining his vehicles as well. But I'm lost for words. This is one of the weirdest places I think I've ever explored. And I've explored big mansions before, but none where it's just been left. So this is his pictures. And the pictures of his garden. You see how he had a heaven in his garden. Yeah, that one. I don't know what date he's of. These look like quite old pictures. These aren't. Dated, don't Greenhouse. This guy had everything. He like owned everything there is to own. How many shipping containers did this guy own? Wow. The amount of property he owns, the amount of land he owns, the amount of stuff on it. Look at all these shipping containers and his mattress in that one. That's, so when he had a friend round, I don't know, a poor friend who he didn't like that much and didn't let him stay in his mansion, he'd let him sleep in the shipping container. I so he had people living in these, or maybe his garden or something worked on site maybe and slept on site.